I'm by Sam Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got old Brutus loaded up on the gooseneck. Got to take her to the shop. You know, before you get down the road on these things, you need to make sure that you've done a good job of securing it. All your lights work, your brakes work, all that good stuff. So I just, I physically go by and I put my hand on every touch point. And so I just make sure that my, my links are good and my rub rails, my chain and binders are tight. I like doing that, you know, just kind of a peace of mind. I've got my ramps up and then I go to the front where the gooseneck is attached to the actual truck itself. I make sure that the toolbox is closed. I make sure my pigtail is plugged in. I make sure that my safety chains are on. I make sure that my safety cable is on to my brake box there, my brain or whatever you call that. And that my uh, coupler is secured down there. So I make sure all that's right before I actually pull off with the, the tractor on the back. And there's something else I do with the tractor. Before I take it to the shop, I take off my bucket and I take off my implements. And some people don't do that, and that's okay, it's your personal preference or whatever, but let me tell you why I do that. The reason I do that is I want the mechanic to have easy access to whatever he's gonna be working on on the tractor. And some of you may even take your loader off. You know, if your tractor has a problem or an issue that has nothing to do with the loader, you could take it off and the mechanic has easier access into the engine compartment and things like that. You know, it's just personal preference what you want to do. But I just think, you know, I know the I know the mechanic. I'm taking mine to Cloud Auto up here. There's, you know, he's my local dealer. And I got three good ones that are close by. So, I mean, I've got my pick, you know, but Cloud happens to be, he's got a really, really good mechanic who we've developed a personal relationship with. He's just a really good guy, knows a lot about tractors. So that's who we choose to go with. But, you know, find a good service department and have them, you know, service your tractor or do the warranty work or make the repairs that are necessary. But I take this stuff off so that he can have easier access to whatever he's gonna be working on. So let me tell you what they're gonna to do to the tractor today. We're taking Brutus to the shop today for a couple reasons. One, we're trying to support local businesses. And two, we're getting some service done on it. And so, you know, I always think about, when I do this kind of stuff, I think about what my dad told me when he was on his deathbed. My dad was, man, he was so full of wisdom and stuff. And he would, I remember the day on his deathbed, he was sitting there and we were holding hands, you know, and. He looked at me and he said, son, he goes, I'm going to tell you three things that you need to remember the rest of your life. And I said, okay, dad, you know, this is, sounds like it's going to be a, a whopper of a, a deal there. So he was like, don't ever forget him. And I won't, I'll take him to the grave with me. Three most important things that he's ever told me in his entire life. He looked me in the eye and he said, son, if there's guns in the house, one of them better be yours. Two, you should always take care of the small town USA businessman. They're the ones who take care of the baseball teams and the softball teams and the fundraisers. You need to support local businesses. And number three was, um, uh, uh, doggone. I, I can't remember number three, but if I do, I'll, I'll tell you in the video, but I can't remember number three right now, but I enjoy supporting local businesses. Uh, these guys have been good to me. This is the 200 hour service we're fixing to do on Brutus here. Can I do the 200 hour service? Of course I can. You know, if you look at the, the owner's manual, the 200 hour service is cleaning air filters, checking oil levels, things like that. But, you know, I could take it, I could drop it off at, at Cloud Auto and have him do it overnight, you know, next two or three days would, or I could just leave it here and then I could try to find time to do it. So I would, I would rather support local businesses, especially small businesses, you know, because I mean, you know, like my, <laughs> like my dad said, you know, who do you go to when your kid has a softball team fundraiser or, you know, they need a sponsorship for a sign on a, on a baseball field or a tennis court or something, a basketball court, you know, you go to those small businesses and you ask them for donations. Well, they make, they get, they can give you that donation because people spend money there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take Brutus up there. We're going to get the 200 hour service done and then uh, we'll pick it up in a day or two. It's, it's no rush. We got everything we need to do done. And so we'll just get it here in a day or two. They can take their time doing it and, and we'll be happy to, to take it up there to them. So let's get on down the road and, and, and drop Brutus off. Alrighty, we made it to Cloud Auto. Now what we gotta do, take her off. Hey, real quick, I know you're watching the tractor video, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of our next Will It Start video that's coming out. Take a look at this, kind of a head scratcher for sure, but it was it was intense, but you know, I think you'll, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Let's do it. I'll see if we can just bump it over and... Yeah, we'll try one battery and see what she does. At least see if the engine's not locked up. <laughs> it's got oil and antifreeze in it, it ain't locked mm -hmm. up, Wiley. That's right, hey. Uh, did anybody see a key? I know, but I got a starter button. 
That's a good thing because on these you can screw down that injector pump. It's been a long time that it's got a manual screw down there and you can crank it without getting juice to the pump. Oh, okay. Okay. I knew we brought you along for something. Well, I just gotta remember. <laughs> just exactly. I bet if your viewers could see this live, they say, there it is, it's right there. Yeah, Can't that's you right. See it, that's you? right. That's right. Maybe there. You, you screw that out and it goes. It makes the pump manual instead of electric. electric. Boogie woogie. Sometimes the longest part of this trip is getting the tractor on and all. I mean, they're only a couple miles down the road, you know what I mean? They make these speed binders. I ain't tried those. Have you guys ever tried those? I know my buddy Mike over Dirt Perfect. He likes them a lot. Look here. I, I call this my motorcycle with a... Actually, that's backwards, ain't it? I should be tightening them for <laughs> throttle on a motorcycle. Oh, my goodness. Cut the chains off. Big loud noise right here. Hold on. Man, that's loud. Hope I don't bust this new concrete up. Let me <laughs> let me do it a little softer on this one. I'd hate for him to get mad at me for cracking his new concrete. There we go. Now maybe he won't get mad at me. <laughs> All right, let's take this thing off. We'll call this good and we'll come back here in uh, a couple days and pick it up and call the service complete. And right across this road. Y'all ain't never seen me run on camera, have you? I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> oh, the only time I'm running is usually from the you know fact I missed the ice cream truck or something. <laughs> Alrighty, headed back to the house. Let's go. Thanks for watching. God bless.